What are the food triggers, right? And this acronym that we've come up come up with, HEAT. Get out of the heat. Get out of the heat. And HEAT stands for, the H is for habit, the E is for emotions, A is for access, and the T is for taste. So these are the categories that all triggers pretty much fall into. H-E-A-T. So we want to get out of the heat. We don't want... Uh, the heat to get us, right? So H-E-A-T, habit, emotions, access, and taste. Those are the things that cause problems for us as we are working on putting our diabetes in remission. What I'd like you to do is I would like you to become more familiar with this heat, right? How do we get out of the heat? Right? So that's what it does. I want you to, so when, when people talk to you about, hey, eating, say, I'm trying to get out of the heat. I'm trying to get out of the heat. Right. In fact, in right now, put in the uh, put in the comments. Say a hashtag heat, hashtag H E A T. Right. All right. And then I'd like to give you an exercise. Um, I am actually going to um, create a document with this so that you can use it. So two parts to it. I want you to for one week get a small notebook or use an app. And what I want you to do is divide it into four sections. And the four sections are H E A T. Right, habit, um, emotions, access, and taste. And I want you to write down the times and situations where you find yourself eating out of one of those. Right, to write, write down, hey, I ate, it was just a habit, it was just time for me to eat. Or I want you to write down when you reacted to from food, you reached for some food because of emotions. Or, man, I just ate that because it was just there, accessed. And then pay attention to the foods that you crave. Oh, man, I ate that because I, did, I was not hungry, but I just wanted it. And then I want you to reflect on a daily basis as you're going through the week. Remember, we got four, four quadrants, H-E-A-T in each one. And you're going to note the times when you are eating and you know that you've eaten because of one of those things. And on a daily basis, I want you to reflect at the end of the day, take a few moments and review what you wrote down. Look at the patterns of specific triggers that lead you to eat outside of just when you're physically hungry. Come on back next week. We're going to share some of that information. I want you to put it in the chat, even over the week. You can put it in. You can put it in the comments, right? Because we're going to, we're going to talk about that. And then here is your management tool. This is the how do you manage the triggers? How do you manage the the, the heat, how do we get out of the heat? Okay. Once again, divide your sheet into four sections. And I want you to list the triggers that you've identified under each of them, under each of those quadrants. And then I want you to say, hey, what is the plan that you have for managing habits? What is your plan? When, hey, I am I know I'm eating this out of habit, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to eat when I watch TV. Okay, so that's a plan for habit. What am I going to do when I know I'm eating out of emotions? Right? I'm going to work on developing a better, a more healthy coping mechanism rather than eating. So you're going to write that down. So you're coming up with plans for each of the four. How about access? What's the plan for access? Well, when I go to the grocery store, I'm not going to buy whatever that thing is, right? So what is your plan? And then for taste, how do I mitigate the fact that, oh, I just love that Pringles. I just love that cookie. I just love that brand of whatever, right? So what are some healthy recipes that you can use at home for doing that? What are some other foods that you can buy at the grocery store? and then begin working on those, okay? So we're gonna, first of all, for the week, we're gonna draw on our paper, right, four different squares, and within the square, H-E-A-T, and every time that I eat out of habit, every time I eat out of emotion, every time I eat just because it's there, out of access, every time I eat because of the taste, I'm gonna jot those down, and then I'm gonna come up with a plan for how do I deal with that particular trigger? How do I deal with triggers of habit? triggers of emotion, triggers of access, and triggers of time.